So in this session, we're going to deploy the Cloud Adoption Framework Landing Zone for Azure Kubernetes services. So if we go to the GitHub repository where uh, we publish those uh, Terraform Landing Zone, you see that you have available a set of solutions and a set of examples. So on top of the core landing zone here today, we're going to deploy an AKS cluster. So if you go to the example section, we see that we have a set of examples related to layer three and layer four, which are basically the core cluster as you would expect it, private cluster or public AKS cluster, but also the application like Flux, Argo CD and Kafka. If we get to the cluster foundation first, you see that we're going to deploy in this session a private cluster inside our environment that is going to be uh, connected inside my environment using hub and spoke topology. And we're going to publish AKS with uh, the um, private link. So I'm going to clone the repository locally on my machine. I'm opening it into Visual Studio Code and I'm opening it in the Visual Studio Code code remote container. So now I'm inside my Rover, which is my development and deployment container. And I use Rover as my tool set to deploy inside my environment. So first part of my work is to deploy the prerequisites for the cloud adoption framework landing zone, which uh, is basically provided by the Git repo. So this is why I'm cloning the code locally to deploy the lower level landing zone. And you see here, I'm specifying an environment. So I can have multiple developers inside the same Azure environment. And then I'm going to deploy my launchpad. So launchpad is the DevOps foundation where I deploy all my environment and I store my Terraform state and I can optionally also deploy my Azure DevOps pipelines, but not going to do that today. And you see that on top of that, I will rely on level three and level four to deploy my applications. So now I have deployed the first environment, the launchpad. I'm going to now go into one level up and deploy the uh, foundation of my environment. So if we look at uh, here, we're going to do a deployment of the private cluster and we are going to pick the networking model. So here I'm deploying my hub network where I'm going to have my Azure firewall, my bastion, and there will be the guy with my public IP address. So usually there are the central services inside the organization. And if we reflect back into an enterprise scale, this is usually what we will have into a uh, separate subscription, the connectivity subscription, and my landing zone AKS will sit inside the landing zone where it comes with its own spoke virtual network. So this is essentially what we're doing now. The uh, Hub has finished the setup and uh, now the next step is to continue and deploy uh, the Spoke network. Just before that, we do a quick review. You can see I'm going back to my uh, subscription. I have my operations log that has been uh, deployed here. I have my log analytics and my container monitoring solutions. And if I go to the hub, I have my uh, hub with my uh, firewall, Azure firewall that I will use for my egress alongside with my network security group and my core uh, environment like my public IP addresses. So if we go back to the model, now let's deploy the spoke network. So here I'm going to launch the application of the configuration. I'm deploying my spoke with the spoke uh, subnets that I will need to do and the routing to send the traffic back to Azure Firewall for the egress. So this is what we see here. You see, I have my route table that has been deployed and going to send the outbound traffic to Azure Firewall for the filtering. And of course, the right filtering rule has been deployed with my Terraform code as well. And you will have uh, the pleasure to review the content of the variables uh, offline. So you see now I've launched the deployment of my Kubernetes cluster as we speak. And you see that now we started to have some components. So the jump box is here where I have my deployment of all my jump box element. I have my AKS nodes as well here. And I have my AKS cluster, which is deployed and private link for the ACR and private link for the Kubernetes API as well. You see in my deployment, I chose two nodes and I have one that is still being created as we speak. And another one is already been online. So this is the very, very uh, accelerated view on the deployment of a Kubernetes private cluster using the Azure Cloud Adoption Framework landing zone for uh, Terraform. Don't hesitate, get started and uh, download the component and try it out on your subscription. And all the landing zones are available on aka.ms slash tf landing zones.